Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Lewis Rose. I have the pleasure to interview Dr. Odette Bahat, and we'll be talking about demystifying the options for the compromised maxilla with a fixed prosthesis. Why do you think patient case acceptance has been increased? I think there's more data to show that uh, implant placement in the edentulous maxilla is predictable, provided you follow certain medical protocols that are prudent. Uh, there's obviously more people that need it. There's obviously more publicity and more knowledge. What are the key factors necessary to provide a fixed implant restoration for a patient with limited bone in the maxilla? Well, obviously correct diagnosis um, of the condition is critical. And then there are multiple procedures that are predictable that will provide augmentation of the volume of bone as well as the linear length of bone or height both in the posterior part of the maxilla as well as the anterior. And provided they are executed properly, it can be predictable. Can you explain the changes in facial aesthetics as a person ages? Our skull continues to age over time and as well as the soft tissue. So while um, soft tissue continue to lose fat volume, uh, the skull, including the upper jaw and the lower jaw, continue to grow. The implants act like a marker. They do not change in the position of the skull. So even though um, skeletal growth ceases at 21 or 23 years old, uh, there are dramatic changes within the skull. And therefore, the changes, the facial aesthetic changes, are not related only to skin and fat volume, but also to bony changes. What recommendations do you have for a dental professional interested in becoming involved in the treatment of the edentulous patient? I think that establishing a relationship between highly qualified uh, surgical specialty, restorative specialty, um, good technical support, establishing relationship with a company uh, like Nobel that will provide you software that you can analyze the um, real conditions and do your proper, proper pre-planning, as well as, of course, attend uh, courses that are reputable to pick, some, pick up some information. So you are, you are talking about a collaborative approach to uh, any of these procedures? I think that once the topic is um, the terminal dentition and the resolved maxilla, and it's usually, in my opinion, it's a, it has to be a collaborative approach in order to be successful and get optimal results. Dr. Bahat, thank you very much.